Today we are making something I find really really cool. Today we're making Darth Maul's Lego lightsaber from Star Wars the complete saga like the original Lego Star Wars game. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of our pieces and sand the little rings. Uh, yeah the little ring I'm going to sand it out and get it gone. It was the first one I ever got to play. Like it was kind of my introduction to Lego. I want to I want to make a disclaimer here first and foremost. I didn't play with Legos as a kid. I never had Legos as a kid, so I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to be like a big fan of Lego. Like I, I just never had them. But I played the game and I enjoyed it, and I enjoy watching like stop motions of uh, Legos and just like any type of Lego films they put out there. I love them. I just never had Legos at a kid. All right, that's three down. Yeah, see this. This is why you wear a mask. But that's three down, and I got still a bag full to go. For you, it doesn't seem like that long, but for me, this is seems like each one takes about ten minutes ish. But we're gonna keep going. All right, so we have two of them that we're leaving un. Uh, unsand it on the inside just for what I'm gonna do and then I have five of them that are sanded but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the unsanded uh, ones on the inside put it on there and then we'll put like a little foam or not foam but um PVC circles I'm gonna stack two of them together to do on each side just to get it a little bit further out like I want it and um yeah so we're gonna glue those on there but first we need to sand up the PVC itself and cut out four of these so for this um so that's sanded Got my four sanded pieces, unsanded ones. Uh, yeah, now all we need is these four circle cutouts. Yeah, it feels like in cams that kind of cuts me off now when I'm trying to talk like as the voiceover. But anyways, it's I just took my scroll saw to cut out these circles. You can do this numerous different ways. I just chose to do that just simply because I have a scroll saw. Why not use it, you know? And then, um, I'm not really sure why I had used PVC glue cement here. I think I was originally going to use that for the whole project, but then things just changed, uh, things went along. But you can do this with multiple glue. Like, uh, as you'll see later, I end up just using super glue for a lot of it, but you could use the PVC glue, which, you know, is really well. That is what it's made for. Or you can use the, uh, super glue like I do you know whatever you choose to use and then I just took the time to get all the pieces leveled out so I had like a good base plate or base pieces to start with so that when I add up the layers and all I still know what I gotta sand it back down to because like right here I'm doing a similar method to what I did in the Lego Luke Skywalker lightsaber video where I just heat up a uh, plastic to form it around to get bigger diameters for whatever size I need and then I'm having to just cut like little, uh, I guess you would call them rips, to fill in the rest of the gaps in between the PVC to get it to make you know a solid ring for the size I need. And that's all you got to do is just stack layers by either cutting it open and heating it and shaping it around it. Or if you can and your pipe's big enough and you can heat it well enough, then you can just heat it up and then stretch it over it like I'll do in this next clip, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I definitely need to secure down my belt sander. It kind of just like walks all the way across, like all across the place as I do it. And then so right here, after I got the first little emitter piece made and kind of figured out, uh, I came back and trimmed down my pipe to the size I need to get it all fit together the way I wanted it to. So now, should go pretty much exactly where we want it. And, oh, wait. Voila! We're 
<laughs> we're, we're really close now. We are, we are getting there, guys. This is it's coming along nicely. I'm liking it. So, I need to sand up the heads and then get another layer on them. So yeah, like everyone else has been making like the Lego lightsabers and I planned to do this video like a really long time ago and then like right as I started working on it, William Shakespeare uploaded his video of it. So I was like, oh man, I don't want to do it right now and just copy him. So then later I was like, you know what, I'm doing it a little different. I'm going to do Darth Maul's Lego lightsaber from the original, from the complete side because that's the only one I remember that was kind of different other than, you know, Count Dooku's. But I just thought this one was cool because Darth Maul is one of my favorite characters. Yep, some seam works and fill some gaps and all that. But other than that, this thing is basically done. Like if it wasn't for me, like it, it's done. Now I just gotta prep it for paint. Darth Maul's Lego lightsaber. Like pretty heavy. It's fairly hefty. And when you compare it in size with the original, there it is. Oh, this one actually looks really good. Now, and this one just seems like way too big and just otherworldly. I don't know. Which, which one do you think looks better? Well, I mean, obviously this one looks a little bit better. It's painted, but it, do you like the size and shape of this one or the size and shape of this one? So, I got... <clears throat> so, I have all my main pieces sand and primed pretty much to the point that i'm comfortable with or not primed but i uh, just sanded and uh filled to where i'm comfortable with and so what i would like to do now is <clears throat> i was gonna paint it with some fancy airbrush paints that i got and all it was gonna be really cool but um those haven't got here yet I am going to uh, do a much cheaper method and just wrap everything with some aluminum foil tape. Yeah, I was actually really proud of this idea. Like when I was like, I was, I was like, oh, dude, I could just do like aluminum foil tape, and you get the best chrome you can get, and it'll look really good. It'll be fast and simple. This stuff is, you know, it's already the, it's as chrome as you're going to get something. Alright, let's see if we can make this work. Ah, please don't be messed up. I have only ever done, like, an aluminum foil wrap on something one other time. But, I still think... It is do what we needed to do. Fun fact, uh, the one other time I did it is when I was, it was before my very first video when I was first trying to get started and it was a Yoda's lightsaber that I did with PVC and EVA foam and I had wrapped it with aluminum tape to give it the metal look. It's just, uh, that video never came out because half of it didn't get recorded or anything and yeah, but I'm definitely intending on revisiting that one, but yeah, that was the first time I ever used the aluminum foil tape was long ago on the uh, Yoda's lightsaber. And now if you look at, I mean, you can still see the seam lines a little bit, but I mean, it's a nice mirror chrome kind of finish and well, dude, I'm, I'm really satisfied with the way it looks like there's, there's a few little like scratches and stuff that are in it from the way the foil would crinkle, but other than that, good just do all the other pieces and you'll that'll be it okay so after a lot of trial and error we got the lightsaber done um this side turned out really pretty really nice great this side got all kinds of messed up and just it don't look good i didn't account for um how much of a thickness change the piece of tape would make but it did and I did not account for that so I messed up there but other than that other than that it looks really because like really most of it ain't even gonna show well I guess you can see it a little bit on camera there 
but just look at this side and you're good to go but anyways Darth Maul's Lego lightsaber and also that is now going to so guess what happened right after I got finished wrapping this guy with aluminum foil tape getting it to look you know as good as it does see my original plan was to uh, paint it with an airbrush I got an airbrush as a gift to myself felt like I earned it and so I was gonna paint it with an airbrush and I had ordered some of the all clad paints they're uh, gloss back black and then they're nice chrome and they show up like cuz I had gave up and I was like ah, I want this build done this weekend but the uh, paints weren't here and then soon as I finished wrapping this my on uh, for me this is Saturday uh, soon as I finished getting this wrap and record like the last little bit of the video for it I look or my brother brings in a package and it's got my black lacquer and my chrome paint <sighs> so yeah it's still cool though. I'm still really proud of how this turned out, you know, seeing an alternative way to do the lightsaber. So I still hope you guys enjoy this video enjoyed this video. Um I know I did. My fingers are killing me because, you know, it still is kinda of metal so it does kinda of cut into them a little bit. But and then other than the little mishaps on one of the ends of it, but like I said, you can't really tell from a distance. But other than that, I'm I'm super proud with how it turned out and I'm still I still think it's much better than this one so I still say it's a win um, yeah all right you know I had to add the you know short clips of b-roll shots just to you know show it off a little bit thank you guys for watching and uh, see you again soon when the next one comes out mm -hmm.